Good morning, this is Debbie from CarriedCards.co and today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Now the main feature on this card is the embossing here. I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, I saw this technique on a card on Pinterest made by a lovely lady called Michelle Last. Um, so I thought, well, I'll have a go myself and it was very easy to do and I think it just looks so elegant. Very pleased with the effect. Right, so the card I'm making is going to be a six inch by six inch card and I just buy mine um, already in a large pack of 50 cards and just fold them down the middle. I'm working with Pool Party and I cut a piece of card to go on the bottom layer there. That was cut at five and a half inches by five and a half inches or um, 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres. And then I cut a piece of Whisper White card at 13.5 centimetres by 13.5 centimetres. Um, or alternatively, I'm trying to do this out of my head, I really should write this down. Um, what is it? 5.25 by 5.25 inches. So the main tool I'm going to need is my Simply Scored board. Now I'm hoping it's going to sit on there okay and that also you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it because unfortunately I'm sat down and the camera is well above me. Right, now how stable is that going to be? We'll have a go anyway. So I've got my Simply Scored board. It is a bit wobbly, isn't it? And then I've got this um, additional board that you can buy. Um, I think it's called a Borders board. I'll have to look that up. I'll put the name on um, my blog. And when you come to put it up, it's a, it's a plate that just fits on. There's an arrow there. And you want to fit the arrow towards the top. And then this should just lie flat onto your Simply Scored board. It fits perfectly. And then with this comes this um, acetate sort of grid, really. So that, because could you imagine putting your paper on there? You wouldn't have a clue where the lines go. So this really is a good guide so that you can see where it is that you need to do your marking and your embossing. Right, so. I started off by doing this shape here, which was from there. And to do that, I've just got to get my head round, which way round? That's it, it would be that way round. So I turned my card the wrong way round, and I made a little mark exactly in the centre, because I found when I did my first one, I was jiggling it around, trying to find the centre point, and then using a ruler and measuring it, and it didn't work very easily. So I thought, well, nobody's gonna see the back, so I'll just pop that there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you can use these lines here to make sure that it's straight. So I've just popped that underneath the acetate but on top of the borders plate. Right, so that looks about it. Now I am so I'm sitting in a strange angle. Um, this is wobbling and I'm sitting from behind because I'm sure you don't want to see the top of my head. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not going to make too much of a, a mess. Right, so what I'm going to do is use this one here, this curve here, okay? Right, so just press with your embossing stylus that comes with your Simply Scored board. And that's the hardest part, um, but it isn't actually very hard if you are stood properly. It's just I'm not. There you go. So we've got the first line, and that's our guide line. So I can now take off this plate I don't know if you had time to look at this really, I was a bit quick wasn't I? There's some beautiful patterns on here. There's some double-edged scallops, single scallops with little dots, zigzags, tiny zigzags. Some of these fit around um, the framelits that Stamping Up do. There's little ribbons, waves. This is a really nice additional piece to your scoreboard. Okay, so now this is where we start working. It doesn't really matter where you put this, so long as it's up against the edge, because we're going to score at every eighth of an inch. Now, just make sure I'm, oh, I nearly had that upside down. I want that to be at the top, and I want to make sure that all of my lines are embossed, not de-embossed. De-embossed is where they go downwards, so that way. 
that's embossed that's de-embossed <coughs> oh dear I've got a frog in my throat today so I'm going to make sure I've got that way round up against the edge and I'm just gonna sort of just put my stylus there find the first line and then I'm using this as a guideline and goodness me I've just realized a double whammy I haven't even got my glasses on <laughs> That's what happens when you try to film in the morning before you've had a coffee. But we've got builders coming in today and they're making such a noise that I thought I'd try and get a video done before they arrive. Oh gosh, I think I've gone over the edge there. Okay. I'm sorry that this isn't um, the most interesting thing for you to watch, but you can see how quick it is. Um, and it's very easy just to find the next line. You just sort of move your stylus along and just gently feel for the next groove. We've got quite an exciting day today. It's um, my husband's birthday tomorrow. And we've got a little local airfield not far away, where just the little planes go from. And he said for years that he'd love a flying lesson. So I've treated him to a 30 minute taste of flying lesson today. He doesn't know anything about it. So once I've filmed this, I'm going downstairs to give him his voucher. And luckily the weather seems like it's going to be quite nice today. So. I hope he's excited. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. Right, <clears throat> so there's all of my lines embossed. Hopefully you can see. It's very strange having the camera uh, up above me and not being able to actually see what you're seeing. So I'll move my scoreboard out of the way now. And then we haven't got a lot more to do. That's the beauty of this card. Once you've done that prep work, all I'm going to do then is stamp this image here and put it together. So I'll pop that on one side for now and then <coughs> I'm going to stamp my image so I've got my bit of trusty old foam and my paper to keep my phone clear bit of Whisper White card stock and the stamp that I'm going to use is from the Apothecary Art Set um, there's two, this is the two of two this, it comes with two boxes and it's got some beautiful designs in, oh, in fact I'm going to use this to make some cards very soon but I'm going to use this one here for you. <clears throat> and I'm going to use Pool Party Ink. Um, ink my stamp up. So I've already mounted it on the acrylic block. Get plenty of ink on. And pop it on. Press it down. There we go. <clears throat> Close my ink so I don't need that again. And I... Just to say, oh, what am I talking about? Oh, goodness me, I must have a coffee before I film. Right, next thing, I want to cut that out. And there's a matching set of framelits that go with this set. I'm sure they're not just for the set, but they, they fit this set perfectly. Um, and the framelits are called the Labels Collection. This is what I do. I keep the wallet that they come in, and then just cut a little bit of... Um, magnetic sheet just to fit in there and then I find that these don't slip around and it's just very easy to get hold of them otherwise without that I find that they wobble around they all fall inside each other so I've taken the smallest one out of that popped it on there and I've just run it through my die cutting machine so that's all I've done and then come up with that so it just saves me having to get my die cutting machine out here and shake the table. So let's start putting this card together. I'll we'll go back to a card blank and our pool party card stock and you can adhere that in any way that you like. I'm using glue at the moment just because, oh goodness, <laughs> it's a bit blocked up. I don't think I've cleared the spout very well. So you can use snail, you can use adhesive, you can use double sided tape, whatever you like to use to stick your backing onto your cards. 
I think the builders might have just arrived. It sounds like the door opened then, but hopefully they won't disturb me until I finish this. So pop that on and then I've just got a bit of ribbon. I've got a feeling this might be retired now. Again, I'll look it up and pop it on my blog, but um, a bit of pool party ribbon. And I just popped a bit of glue here and a bit of glue here. Normally I would give this a couple of minutes just to dry so that there's no risk of me pulling it off when I put the card together. But I don't want to bore you by making you wait two minutes. I'm sure I could easily chatter on for two minutes, but I won't do that to you. So just make sure it's straight. And I'm going to pop it straight on. So Again, a bit of glue. Try not to put too much on. As long as the edges are sealed, then it will sit fine. But because I've got the ribbon, I'm going to make sure I put some over the ribbon. I'll put a little bit on here. All right, and then pop that onto there. You see how quick this card is once you've done the embossing and that really didn't take very long, did it? And with the Simply Scoreboard there are so many different embossing patterns that you could come up with. Okay, so the only thing I've got left to do is to pop that on there, just get a dimensional. Now, just work out which bits are going to stick to the card because if I put my dimensionals there all it's going to do is stick to the ribbon so I'm going to pop one there and one there because I do want this to stick to the card. Right, fingers and thumbs. Yeah, there we go. Now isn't that a simple card? Oh, just to say, I made sure I lined that point up with that point because, because I've measured it I know that is the middle. So that was quite a good guide. And there we have a really, I think it's a really elegant looking card. Um, you could use a different message in there. You could use a different shape, different sentiment. You could even pop a flower in there. Um, there's just lots of things. In fact, I think I might experiment, have a go, see what else I come up with and show you another one. So thank you very much for watching. And it's um, goodbye from me for today from Debbie at carriadcards.co